Of course, right as I turn off the camera, I notice what I think is a tiny piece of surface gold right there. Do it with a passion or not at all. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly. So I don't really have a plan for what we're gonna be doing today, but the goal is to at least leave with some gold. I was gonna put on my wetsuit and get in the water, but honestly, I just don't feel like editing one of those videos just yet. They are calling for some snow. So before the ground disappears, I'm thinking maybe we do some panning and see if we can't find ourselves some crevices to clean out. So the water is up a little bit, not a big deal, but I do see some exposed bedrock there and there, and I typically do pretty good right here when I'm sniping underwater. So let's see if we can make that luck work out of the water. For our first spot right here is a little cliff that kind of drops down. I found this little piece of bedrock that is a little bit loose. So we are just gonna take this piece off. Yeah, it is loose. Clean all that out, give it a pan and see what we get right now. Lots of juicy material. This dirt kind of seems too fine for there to be any gold. There might be some flood gold in here, but I don't think there'll be any bigger bits, but this is a good area to test. Because it's right off on the bottom of a of a mountain. So for our first test of the day. Okay, one piece, one piece of candy. All right, let's keep looking. Second pan. Sorry. How did we do? Nothing. Oh, uh, some fly poop in there, but nothing really. You're like a bird. So that last spot is all cleaned out and I went upstream and found a little bit of this bedrock exposed everywhere. And I believe I found a nice little pocket to work next. There is bedrock all the way around it and all the stuff here in the center is all just low pressure zone overburden. So let's clean this out. First thing is first, we wanna get rid of all this light stuff. Um, we wanna pan it out anyway, just in case there is some gold in there, which could lead to bigger gold. All right, I'm already hitting bedrock, so it's not deep, which can be both good and bad. So as predicted, our first pan out of our top stuff doesn't have anything, so let's go deeper. Of course, right as I turn off the camera, I notice what I think is a tiny piece of surface gold right there. It's like a little ball. It could be a shiny gold looking rock, but I think it is gold. In the snuffle bottle you go, just in case. Uh, I think I got it. Very next pan, after digging more dirt and actually breaking up a bit of bedrock, we found more than one piece of gold. Awesome. Do you see what's happening here? The deeper you go, typically, the more gold you will find. 
Also, here's another hint for you guys. If you ever come across piles of water like this where you don't have a tool to suck it out, if you just add a lot of sand in it, what you could do is soak up the water and then you'll just find it a lot easier to put it in your pan. But that really depends on the sand water ratio. So our third and final pan out of this spot, because I can't really get any deeper, yielded a little bit of gold. It kind of looks like our last pan, only there's a bit more flat poop. So I think now I'm just going to go walk upstream a little bit, see if we can't find a place closer to the river or maybe just a crevice that looks even better. So I came across this spot right here that I wasn't really going to clean out because it didn't look like much, but I thought I would give it a try. And it turned out there were two deep pockets right here. So I cleaned those out, panned them, and we did find a bit of gold. Now that piece in the center of the screen is actually really, really rough, which is a good sign that this gold is close to the vein, which is a very good sign. I'm going to do one more detailed clean out of this, and then I'm going to move on over here and see if I can't find myself a new area. Here's an example of a pocket. As you can see, a ton of bedrock around it. And then you have this little area that has gravels in it and you have even a heavy rock in it. So that would be a really good area to clean. And if we're lucky, there'll be a deep crevice in here with lots and lots of gold and lead. I can already see that the bottom of this hole is really smooth, which isn't really a good sign unless there's a crevice at the very, very bottom which it doesn't look like there is, so I think we're out of luck, but we'll pan this out and just see anyway. Was it worth it? No, but it was worth it. Here's our next spot, and the reason for that is because I just did a test pan and we found some lead, which means that the heavies are dropping here, and that leaf just ruined my shot. We also have a little bit of gold, so that's also a good sign. Dig, 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 dig. Ooh. Yeah, it's all packed in here, which is a beautiful sign that there's gonna be some lead. <laughs> Hopefully not. My hole's already filling up with water, so that's bad. We wanna put some more dirt in it. Soak it all up and then put it back in the pan. This water is so warm. So it looks like we just have that one piece in there, but that's still gold. So today's kind of spotty. You don't always get to find the gold that you're looking for, but anytime you do find gold, it's obviously a really good thing. But today is kind of spotty. Um, I'm finding gold in some places and I'm not in others. And I, it's kind of because the water is a lot higher than I thought it would be today. So there's not a lot of areas to actually go and look. I'm just gonna clean out this area a little bit better and turn on the camera as I come across gold and see if we can find Brian, because maybe he'll bring us even more luck. I finally caught up to Brian. Any luck? Ah, not much. I see an area where I could potentially cross the river, but for sure, I would fall in. <laughs> so from that hole, with this material, this is what we got. A bullet. It does tell us that there are heavies dropping, but there are no golds. So I reckon just a few more tests from this area before I call it a day. So let's hurry up and find some gold. Whoa. So Polly spent the next 30 minutes being as productive as possible, not wasting any time at all. All right, so after doing many more pans, I found a little bit of gold, but nothing really worth filming. Um, this brings me to my a point. A lot of people think that I go out and I find gold all the time. 
that's not the case at all. I just typically don't post videos where I don't find gold. So here you go. <laughs> Now, yes, I did find gold today, but it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. But hey, you can't hit it every time, and that's part of the game. So let's go back to the house and look at what we did find a little bit closer. Back at the blue room. I know this video is kind of short, but I have been getting requests that I post more videos. And with posting more videos means sometimes we're gonna have these quick and easy to edit kind of adventures. But as long as you had fun and we enjoyed the adventure, the gold is dry. So let's have a look. All right. It could have been better, and it could have been worse. I'm very lucky to own a spot where I can find gold, so I can't let that get to my head. And also, we found some lead that we saved from the river. Now let's see if we can make this scale move. All right. Put this thingy on, tear it to zero. Can we make it move? I made it move, all right. Weight is 0.37. All right, 0.37 grams isn't too bad considering I got it for free. And that's almost 0.38 grams. Now on the topic of being productive, it's really hard to capture those behind the scenes moments. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that I wish I could capture, but I can't. So with that being said, I think I found a camera person to join our team, which will be very beneficial because now I could capture everything I want to capture and still stay productive in that hunt. So with more footage, means more content. And with more content means more better videos. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, or hitting that subscribe button. There's plenty more to come here on YouTube and on my social media, and I can't wait to share it. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, I will see you later. You like a bird.